a law ejimako special counsel to unnamde kanu the detained leader of the indigenous people of biafra ipop has reacted to the release of yoruba nation agitator sunday adeyemo igboho ejimako in a tweet on monday said the release of the yoruba activist by the beninized government showed that self-determination was neither crime nor an extraditable offense he therefore called on the Nigerian government and the court to reverse its injustice against Kano. In a tweet, Ejimako wrote, The release of Igbowo by the Benin Republic has validated, validated the universal law that self-determination is neither a crime nor an extraditable offense. If it is, Igbowo would have been extradited to Nigeria. If Nigeria fails to reverse its injustice to Namde Kano, its courts most Igbo was released by the Beninized government on Monday and handed over to Professor Banji Akintoye, the leader of the Elano Omo Odua worldwide, a Yoruba self determination group. Igbo had been detained in prison facility in the Benin Republic after he was released or was arrested with Rokbo, his wife, at Cardinal Bernardin International Airport, Kutunu, while on his way to Germany. In July 2021, this was after it was declared wanted by the Department of State Services (DSS). Mm -hmm. mm. <clears throat> we all know what has been happening now. They know the truth, but they are because all of them from A to Z, they are acting with impunity. They, with impunity. With impunity. Whether it was released. Igbo was released on Ed Grant or not, it is inconsequential. So why is it that uh, they cannot allow Namde Kano to change his cloth if that is it? Because somebody is saying, somebody saying it was released on Ed Grant just like the way Namde Kano was released on Ed Grant by Nigeria three years ago. When Igbo gets well, he will be thrown back to where he, his likes belong to. Okay. Freedom fighter standing on a mountain in a foreign country trying to send message to his people back into the ghetto. Then the lawyer is an illiterate that can't even read. The car smuggler Ibo was granted temporary release on earth ground and is confined within Benin. I disagree. It is because Ibo has a shell in his back. It's all Yoruba leader elder support that supported him, not like Namde Kano that his people using his matter for policies. Of course, nobody says it is a crime, but that wasn't his crime in Benin. But uh, it is a crime in Nigeria. Why change the narrative? Well, don't compare Igbo with this uh, Igbo uh, with this killer Sunday. Igbo. Igbo has never killed anybody. Kano has killed more than 200 souls and is still counting so their case is not similar who and who did they kill you the Boko Haram that have been killing people how many of them are behind bad the bandits esme that have been killing people how many of them have been arrested in the first place not to talk of putting them in custody well second nigeria we are going to be experiencing again he isn't fully released because he cannot travel out of Benin republic nor leave the hospital well Forcing us to remain as one will never work. To remain as one Nigeria is a terrorist act. All we need is referendum. Namde Kano call for self-determination. It's not a crime. They are aware that it is not a crime. It's not as if they are not aware. Things that are going on, going wrong in this country. Are they not aware that uh, things are going wrong? They know. But they look the other way. They will be patching and patching and patching and be making things on, uh, so difficult for people. They are where? Well, it is better to be a bandit or book around than to be a self determination. Oh, self determination is a crime. Really? <laughs> oh my god. Now, person bond this one, honestly. Mm, congratulations, Mr. Bandit. The Yoruba people declare Sitatum. Ah, is Sitatum a crime? I don't understand, though. Is Yoruba, uh, is uh, Sitatum a crime? Sitatum is a crime. Hmm. Bo was taken from prison to hospital in chains under tight security uh, and Nigeria media reported that Igbo has been released. We play 
so much in this country. His approach remains very much different from that uh, of uh, Kano. Where exactly free Nam the Kano now? Free Nam the Kano now. Referendum now. Referendum organized and monitored by unknown gunmen. That one too. Many referendum. The way Igbos disobey IPOP directives on the force to do so. That is the re referendum that represents the wishes of the people. <laughs> of course, a lot of people are uh, a lot of people having a uh, different opinions. So we let them continue to have different opinions. I think uh, at, at this junction, anybody can say anything about uh, these uh, two gentlemen. But what about the larger populace? The rest of us, you are not a, uh, you are neither Igbo nor Namdekano. So what are you? What are you living for as a Nigerian? Leave them. Let them face their own course. Then what are you living for? What do you have uh, on your hands? How is the country treating you? Are you faring under this uh, dispensation that we have? No, you are not there. You are just flowing up and down. People cannot even talk. You cannot even talk or uh, complain about what is happening to you. But when it comes to people who have already channeled their cause, you begin to poke nose. You begin to say this one is this, this one is that. But as, a, as Nigerians, can you see the nonsense happening left, right and centre? And you are happy about it. You are not, I know you are not even happy about it. All of them that are running their mouth, you are not happy about it. So what are you living for as a as a person in this country? They will not be able to answer. We are having problems. You know, see the issue of a fuel scarcity now is like it's becoming a normal thing. It's becoming a routine. It's becoming a normal thing that everybody must agree to. You see how expensive food items are, food stuff, how expensive they are. It's becoming a norm a normal thing. Killing here and there is becoming a normal thing. Everybody will just say, oh, oh yeah, mm -mm. that will be the end. So what are we talking about? Let those people, let them continue to, let them channel their cause, let them continue to face their cause. But the rest of us, where do you belong to? You are still complaining. Let's oh, let them talk about you right now. You see all of them coming out. You can imagine somebody say, it is better to be a Boko Haram, a bandit, than to be a self-determination, determination, a agitator. You can imagine... And you expect this kind, that kind of country to move forward. No, it's not going to happen. So guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this. Thank you.